channel Avanti Morocha. This is one of my favorite collaborations with Cricut where I'm going to personalize two backpacks for the Blue Ribbon Project. The Blue Ribbon Project mission is to prevent all forms of child abuse and to provide critical support to victims of abuse and neglect. The Blue Ribbon Project has different programs. One of them is Backpacks of Love. This program supports victims of child abuse and neglect the moment they are being removed from a dangerous environment. When a child is removed from their home, they only can take some of their possessions, assuming they have any. A lot of time, children in these conditions don't even have the essentials. However, the Backpack of Love program is changing that by providing children with the essentials. Today, I'm going to personalize a backpack for a 3 to 4 year old boy and another for a 13 to 14 year old girl. Now, let's begin. For this project, I'm going to use Cricut Iron On, two polyester backpacks. Before getting started, I'm going to remove the brand labels. I want to put a design in this area. I'm going to do the same with the other backpack. For this project, you can use the small Easy Press or even better, the Easy Press Mini. I'm using a Cricut Access image, which I modified to use in layers. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com. To be able to use it, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. Click on Make it. As you can see, there are going to be 5 cuts. Since I'm using Iron On, it is crucial to activate the mirror button for each cut. Continue. Select the material. For this piece, I'm using Everyday Iron On. I already have the fine point blade in place and now I'm going to load the mat. Place the Iron On with the shiny side facing down. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forward this part of the video. The process to cut this piece took 40 seconds. Now send the second cut, but first change the material. For this piece, I'm using glitter iron on. I already have the fine point blade in place and now I'm going to load the mat. I'm going to cut the rest of the pieces. I fast forward this part of the video. The process to cut each piece took about 40 to 50 seconds. Now that I have all the pieces, I'm going to start the weeding. I don't have a 2020 vision. For that reason, I like using the Cricut Bright Pad. It helps me to see the cutting lines to remove the excess material. Now I have all the pieces for the design. I'm going to use my small easy press, temperature 300 degrees Fahrenheit, time 30 seconds, and also I'm going to use my easy press mini. Preheat the area for 5 seconds and remove any wrinkles. Place the first layer. Press it for 30 seconds. Check to see if the transfer completed. I usually press the back side, but the material looks a little plasticky, so I'm going to skip the back and press it again. Press it for another 30 seconds. Still, it hasn't transferred. It. I'm going to press it again, this time for 15 seconds. Typically, when you are using iron on over polyester, you will remove the backing when the material is cool. However, because I'm adding more layers, I'm going to do it when the project is still warm. Place the second layer. 
Protect the pieces of the iron on that is showing with the backing we just removed. Press it for 15 seconds. Iron on over iron on tends to transfer faster. I'm going to check if the transfer was completed. Now place the third layer. Again, I'm protecting the rest of the iron on with the piece of backing. Press it for 20 seconds. As I mentioned it before, iron on over iron on tends to transfer faster. Now I'm going to place the four layer, protect the iron on with the piece of backing. This time I'm going to use my Easy Press Mini, the temperature is medium. Press each area of the last layer for 15 seconds. Check if it transferred. I noticed that the pieces with the holographic iron on haven't transferred yet. Press them again twice for 15 seconds. I'm placing this layer which is also holographic iron on. I press it three times and it didn't transfer. So I'm going to remove it and use another iron on. Remove the backing. I thought the holographic iron on pieces weren't going to transfer, but they did. If you are using holographic iron on, my recommendation is to remove the backing when this is cool. Place the next layer and press it for 20 seconds. I cut the same piece, but this time in glitter iron on. Press it for 30 seconds. It hasn't transferred completely, so I'm going to press it for another 15 seconds. Now the transfer is completed. Here is the backpack for the 3 to 4 year old boy. It looks amazing. I was planning to use one of Cricut Iron On designs for the other backpack, but sadly it is not compatible with polyester. I decided to use this Cricut Access image which has two layers. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com. To be able to use it, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. Click on make it. Ensure you activate the mirror button when using iron on. Continue. Select the iron on you want to use and send it to cut. Now I'm going to with these pieces. Preheat the area for 5 seconds and remove any wrinkles. I'm going to follow the same steps as with the previous backpack. I'm using the Easy Press Mini, the temperature is set to medium. For some reason, the blue everyday iron on didn't attach properly to this backpack. The only solution I found was to cut this piece using a different iron on. This time I'm using Cricut Holographic Sparkle Iron On. Press it with the Easy Press Mini for 15 seconds in each area. The temperature is set to medium. I made a mistake and forgot to remove the second layer. It was there to show you how it will look. Remove the backing. Here is the second layer that I messed up. It is not a big problem, but I do need to cut this piece a second time. As you can see, the transfer of the first layer looks great. Now I'm going to place the second layer that I cut again. Press it for 15 seconds in each area of the second layer. This backpack came out better than I expected. It looks fantastic. I hope you like this project. As you saw, I had some complications, but I'm really happy with the results. 
If you want to learn more about the Blue Ribbon Project, I'm going to share more information in the info box below the video. If you are interested in a Cricut Maker or an Easy Press, I'm going to share the links where you can buy them in the info box. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon! Ciao, ciao!